first chance to the lady first. Yes, sister. Sweetie, just say no for that also. Thank you, Dr. Mike. My name is Yoko Ida. I'm from Tokyo. I have a question concerning that Muhammad and the best example of humankind and he and his and my journey to Jerusalem. ロバカ、ロバの、ロバの羽が生えていて、顔が非常に美しい女性だった。そういった馬に乗って一晩で飛んだ。そして天国に行って、モーゼとかイエスとか、今あった。そこで、って言ってるんですが、問題なのは、
this is a miracle. You are a free thinker. I am not a free thinker. I am a Muslim. That is the difference between you and me. Now, why I am a Muslim? You should have come to my talk yesterday where I proved the existence of God. You are a free thinker who does not believe in God, correct? That's right. Yesterday my topic was, does God exist? I don't intend giving the full talk here. It's a one and a half hour talk. So if you would have come yesterday, by now, you would have been convinced that there is God and you would have been convinced that this Quran is the word of God. Now your question, is it possible for someone to travel from Makkah to Jerusalem overnight? Even you can do it, even I can do it, by plane. Hmm. Prophet, it's a rhetoric question. Huh? Well, would she like to translate into Japanese for the Japanese audience? No, it's difficult. Let's finish. Take too much time. Okay. So, it is, you can travel. At that time, the plane wasn't there. He traveled from Makkah to, to Jerusalem. It's a miracle. There are many miracles mentioned in the Quran. For example, Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. It's a miracle. Moses, peace be upon him, threw the staff and became into a sea. Miracle. What is a miracle? A miracle is something which cannot be proved scientifically and logically. Miracle is beyond the capacity of a normal human being. So if a normal human being something he does, which is not possible to prove logically or scientifically, it's called a miracle. If I can prove logically, it's not a miracle. Today, if I say I traveled from Makkah to Jerusalem in one night, it's not a miracle. Even you can do it, even I can do it. At that time, when Prophet traveled, yes, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. So what we have to realize that these are prophets of God. God is the creator of the universe of the human beings. And God Almighty chooses a man amongst men to communicate his message with the other human beings. And this chosen men of Almighty God we call as prophets and messengers of God. So as I said in my lecture, Almighty God has sent several messengers. By name 25 are mentioned in the Quran. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is a miracle. For example, this Quran, yesterday I gave a talk, does God exist? And I proved that this Quran has got more than 6,000 verses, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. What we came to know recently about the Big Bang, about the shape of the fairy tale, light of the moon is reflected, the sun is rotating, which I did not know in school. All these things are mentioned in the Quran 14 years ago. Scientifically, no one can explain how can this book mentioned 1400 years back about the Big Bang, which we came to know just 35, 40 years back. It's a miracle. How, how, how did we come to know 14 years back that the shape of the earth is geospherical? Miracle. When I was in school, I learned that the sun is stationary, did not rotate about the axis. The Quran said that 40 years ago. How is it possible? It's a miracle. So with this, I go to prove about embryology, about botany, about biology. All scientific things that we came to know recently, 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back, 300 years back, is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. Who could have mentioned this? It is the Creator, who we call as Almighty God. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, going from Makkah to Medina, sorry, Makkah to the furthest mosque, Jerusalem, it's a miracle. And this is proving that he is a prophet of God. You and I cannot do miracles. The prophet of God, miracles are done by Almighty God through the prophet of God. Hope that answers the question. Uh, okay, thank you very much. But if the, your God isn't so great, you know, why didn't you turn the whole world into the Islamic nation? And why didn't you just snap the fingers and tell the world and turn it into Muslims, you know? Then you don't have to fight. Sister and has asked a very good question. People. Ask a short question. Sisters ask a very good question. Why didn't your God turn everyone into Islamic nation by snapping? This reply is given in the Quran. God knew you were going to ask this question. I don't think so. Then how is the reply already mentioned in advance? That well, is logic. It's a coincidence. Not quite many people ask before you. So God knew you were going to ask and God knew others are going to ask. 
Allah says in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99, that if Almighty God wanted, He could have made all the people in the earth as Muslims. But why do you, that's the reason, don't force anyone to believe without their free will. What's the Quran? Because Almighty God has created various creations. All the other creations of God, besides human being and jinn, they have no free will of their own. If all would have become what God wanted, then there have been angels. Angels have no will of their own. Whatever God says, they follow. That's a different creation. Almighty God created a different creation, the human beings, which has the free will to obey or disobey God. If God made all of us obey Him, then we would be like the angels. Then where is the test? So Almighty God created this special creation called as human beings, which have an ability to go against God or follow God. This is a test. For example, when, when a teacher teaches the students, the students appear for an examination. If the student has the textbook with them, them and then write directly from the textbook, then where is the test? The test is whether do they remember, do they follow the teaching of the teacher or not. So this life is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. Al-Ladi khalaq al wal hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you, which of you is good indeed. This life we are undergoing, sister, is a test for the hereafter. Almighty God says in Surah Bakra chapter 2, verse 155, Surely will test you with fear, or with hunger, or with loss of life, or with goods that you have earned. Almighty God says, your children, your wife, your wealth are a test for you. So all this is a test for us. This is we are undergoing a test, sister. So what question you are going to ask? There are many things mentioned in the Quran. And Almighty God knows that certain people will question certain things. So that is the reason this we are undergoing is a test whether we follow the commandment of God or not. Hope that answers the question. Yes. But see the facts. No, 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 so 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 what we'll do, one question. Thank you, can you ask, very much. What you can do, sister, you can go behind the queue of the non-Muslims and wait for a third chance. So you ask two oh, questions. So you ask two questions. You behind the non-Muslims. Yes, sister, you can stand behind the non-Muslims. Thank you very much. Yes, there, 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 there.